This is a concept that's overlooked a lot in the animation, combining Photoshop and an animation program. So I'm going to kind of break it down to you, just give you some ideas on just how you can do it. Now I'm not going to go through an actual Photoshop program usage. You can go on YouTube and learn all that. The only thing you really need to learn is just the extractor tool and the eraser tool. But you can check out some YouTube videos. They have plenty of them up there that actually show you how to use the extract tool. Here's an image of a hot rod that was sent to me by another good YouTube friend of mine named Highlink. He sent it to me to include it in one of my other burnouts. It was a burnout animation that I did a while back and he sent it to me so I could include it in that. And he hooked it up in Photoshop. Did an excellent job. He's a true artist. I love this man's work. And I'm going to go from the start, I'm going to go from the image he sent me to the actual animation. I think we might get a kick out of it. I'm going to start with an image. It could be any kind of image, but I'm going to use the image I have here. And first of all, I want to, you know, delete the background of that image. I'm going to delete all the images around the card, it leaves the background, everything, with the extractor tool in Photoshop. The reason why using Photoshop and animation software is so cool, you can take like images of what your kids did, your friends did, um, you can take photographs, which I use a lot, um, drawings which I use and I actually scan and once I draw something on paper I scan and color it into Photoshop. You can actually use images of any image that someone gives you and scan it into Photoshop, hook it up, color it, layer it like you're supposed to layer it and then import it right into Anime Studio and you know your kids will really get a kick out of it. A lot of my cartooning students, a lot of their work I put on my YouTube channel. The same concept, they draw it, they hook it up in Photoshop and I actually animated it for them. They really got a kick out of this and I got it online now if you guys really want to check it out but it came out real good. And we did all this with Photoshop and Anime Studio Pro 8. It's a real good concept and you know it might be, you know, it might be a good idea for some of you guys to even try. You might like it. 